Did you know that in England or Great Britain, also called the United Kingdom, you are not considered to be the owner of a car, you're considered to be the keeper of a car. Our friends in that part of the world can comment below and let us know your thoughts on this, but they have a document called a V5C. It's a piece of documentation about your car. It's a book that you keep in the car. And every car in England, as far as we understand, has to do this. It's a log book, a paper document issued by their division of licensing, issued to the registered keeper of a vehicle. It contains specific details about the car. It needs to be updated to reflect changes. Anytime you change the name and address associated with your car or sell your vehicle to a new keeper. Think about that. You're not considered an owner. You're considered a keeper of the vehicle. It's kind of like you're borrowing it from somebody or borrowing it from the government. It contains a reference number that you use to pay your vehicle excise duty, which is a road tax. If the car is modified, you have to put it in a logbook. If it's written off or scrapped, meaning salvage or insurance, in our country they call it um, that, you have to let them know that too. Contrary to popular belief, V5C is not actually proof of ownership. You are a keeper. Insurance certificates are digital, but you have to have a paper form of this logbook. It's likely to remain a physical paper document for the future because it prevents fraud. So... This is different than how we do it in the United States. You're considered an owner, registered owner, titled owner. In this country, you're considered a keeper. Is this something that could happen here? We've talked before about the changes in vehicle ownerships. There are some electric vehicle manufacturers that are talking about not selling vehicles, but leasing batteries to vehicles with the idea that it's cheaper, but you're not going to own anything. How does this work in England? Well, if you're selling a car, you have to find that V5C to give to a potential buyer when you do a deal, and you have to keep it in a safe place. Once you've agreed on a deal to sell your car, you have to inform DL, DVLA that the owner of the vehicle has changed, and you have to put it in the book. There's a paper document that goes in the book. What do you do when you're buying a car? You have to check beforehand that the owner has that document. Because if they need to get a replacement, they have to do that before they sell it. The taxes also follow the car, meaning that you need to check if the taxes are paid so that if you don't take ownership, you don't have any remaining road tax when you purchase the car. This already happens in a couple of states in the United States. In California, if the taxes are not paid for that vehicle or registrations or it's not put in off-road status or non-op status, the taxes will go with the vehicle to the new owner. So this is already kind of creeping over into our country. The document, of course, also contains information about emissions, which may be important if you live in an area that has to have low emissions and charges a fee for vehicles that don't meet the standards. The car status is also recorded. So if you're buying a classic car, make sure it qualifies. You have to have it listed as a historic vehicle. The V5C also confirms who is the registered keeper of the vehicle. This is really a different thought process than we have in this country where you have owners not keepers and it may be something that is contagious we may find that vehicles are no longer considered owned by people there's already talk about having shared vehicle usage a pool of vehicles in some ways uber and lyft do that there are other companies that have shared vehicle usage and it may be something that spreads our country is a little different than um, cities in Europe where they're closer together, but it may be something that manufacturers, governments try to um, convert ownership in our country to. Tell us what you think in the comments about this being a vehicle keeper versus a vehicle owner.